Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Thank you for joining me again. What is this guy doing? Is he sitting in a chair? He's sitting... He's sitting, like, really, really low in this chair. Look, his butt is, like, inside of the chair. <laughs> See that? <laughs> yeah, weird. And is this me? Oh. Oh, what's... Whoa. What do you think you're doing? Oh, um... I don't know. I wasn't doing anything. I was doing nothing. Suppose I can look the other way. Okay. Time. Well, I guess I was trying to pickpocket him. Oh, what? Huh? What is this? Spacer's choice found a flaw in you. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is, is yours. What the hell is this? Spacer's choice found a flaw in you. Paranoid. Repeatedly getting caught by guards has made you jittery. Doubly so. When roaming around restricted areas or sneaking. Affects person personality attributes minus one reward one perk point. So if I accept this, I'll get a perk point. But my personality attributes will forever be minus one. Huh. Interesting. Huh. I mean, a perk point would be cool to have. It's too bad I can't, like, investigate this right now, because I don't remember what personality attributes do. I mean, I guess they probably would have some effect on my speech bonuses, lying and intimidating and persuading. Um, I don't know if that's worth, worth a perk point. I'm going to reject this. So I guess here, it's funny that he sat down in that chair again, the way he was sitting in it before, his legs through the floor here. Very strange. Anyway, I guess this is me trying to pickpocket him, and it was kind of dumb because I was doing it right in front of him, but I thought that maybe there was a bin under there or something. I don't know what I was thinking. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're here in amber heights and one thing that we were supposed to do here is we were supposed to look for uh tucker needham uh agnes's son is he here in amber heights i thought he was oh, apparently he's in this one building like the last remaining building that we have not gone in yet so we'll go in there in just a moment unfortunately uh we've hurt our reputation whoa look at that thing it's all shocky Look at that. We've heard our reputation with the Iconoclasts, but hopefully not uh, permanently. I mean, of course, we haven't ruined it permanently. I mean, we could look at our reputation here. Look at the Iconoclasts. It's still neutral. It's have a negative 1%. That's fine. We can recover from that. Look at this thing. Wrapped it on Mauler here. I mean, if nobody else is going to take the meat, I'll take it, you know. I mean, at the very least, I could sell it. It's worth something a few bits oh look here's a weapon somebody's gonna see me take that just help myself to that uh now somebody would see me take that hello iconoclast rioter hello another rioter and another rioter it's a riot around here well it looks as though we found tucker needham reading the monitor on the wall over there. In case you don't remember, Tucker Needham ran away from Stellar Bay a few weeks ago to join the Iconoclasts in Amber Heights. His mother Agnes is willing to pay handsomely if you can locate her son and convince him to return. Look for Tucker Needham in Amber Heights. Amber Heights is the settlement that houses the Iconoclasts and Monarch. If Tucker Needham survived his travels, his mother thinks he'll be there and his mother appears to be correct because here is Tucker but look here is a terminal that I am going to look at before I talk to Tucker and uh, I'm also going to steal his stuff because he's not going to see me do it yeah screw you Tucker <laughs> I'm taking your stuff I'm taking it it's mine now let's look at this terminal Amber Heights routing terminal Huxley stay off this machine I know your terminal's out of storage but if you break this one things are going to go tits up around here we fixed Huxley's machine, by the way. Do you remember that? Anyone else, as long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work orders out whenever you can, Zora. View work orders. Unresolved work orders. Steam coming out of the roof. 
system water flow submitter Milton R. Description, the pipes on top of my house are going to burst. They're leaking steam. Someone ought to fix this before they explode or the steam hurts somebody. Oh, okay. We can remotely reroute the water with our formidable engineering skills. Sure, why not? Okay, we did that. We vented the, the steam flow. We got some engineering or got some experience points for using our engineering know-how. Flow system corrections complete. Marking work order as resolved. We get a lot of experience points for that. Arcing electricity at the bar. Well, we just saw that. System electric submitter Bronson V description. Looks like sprats true through the wires on the side of the bar. They're sparking up a storm. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a science of 55, so we cannot remotely shut off the power going through the bar's side panels. See that? I can't do it. Uh, haven't heard from the wrapped house. System communications submitter Zora B. Description, we ain't heard from the wrapped house in a while. Sent Milton over, ain't heard from him either. Someone needs to go check it out. Well, we don't have the hack skills to remotely reset the wrapped house's communication breaker. breaker. Can't do that. Oh, whoops. Uh, dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> System culinary submitter Huxley S. Description, haha, ha, hey Zora. I figured out how to add work orders. Dear diary, eat it, Hux. Uh, we could use hack skills to erase this work order. Medical examiner's residence door sealed. Hmm. The door to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and is completely sealed. Can someone get this thing open? We could engage the remote forced door lever operation. Um, where was that? I'm just curious. Uh, let's see, it's a door over top of the med bay. Uh, I'm, I just wanna see if I remember where this was. Um, this is the med bay here, right? Yeah, this is the med bay. So I think there's there was a door around back, right? So it's this sealed door right here that we can't get in. So we can unlock it from this terminal over here. Amber Heights isn't very big. It's not hard to run around this place. Whee! Okay. So let's work, look at the work orders. There. Emergency seals lifted, work order completed. Now, I'm gonna run back over there again uh, right now, because otherwise I will forget. Now, those other work orders that I couldn't complete because I didn't have a high enough science or hack, is there another way for me to complete them? Like the wrapped house one, can I go to the wrapped house? Okay, so this is somebody's residence. And uh, they're about to get robbed. They, they don't have a very secure system here. I mean, anybody could just walk over there and use that computer to unseal the door and then get in here and help themselves to stuff. And, you know, some people, some people suck. And they just walk into people's homes and take things. Some people do that. I can't imagine what kind of person would do that. Some, some low life do that but um yeah it happens it's sad it's re it's really sad that that happens in today's world i bumped my head okay so this quest is uh this work order quest um what's it called odd jobs if we look at the map uh it's taking us outside and um this is Amber Heights. Apparently one of the things is, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. One of the things is here. Um, it's this arcing thing next to the bar over here that I don't know what to do with. I don't know if there's anything I can do. Uh, when I was over here a moment ago, I didn't see anything that, you know, looked like I could interact with. Did I go upstairs in the bar? I don't think I did. I think we talked to this guy and we left and I never even bothered to go upstairs. 
Remember we talked to Ash in the last episode. And I don't think I even looked at this uh, vending machine either. I don't think. I could be wrong. Uh, they're selling some weapons, I guess, that are pretty cool. Uh, some armor. Some health items. Another Magnum. I'm going to go ahead and buy this. These things are hard to find, man. And uh, general stuff and no quest item things. I could sell some things here. Pretty sure I just picked up something I want to sell this thing. We'll sell this and this. And then I'm keeping the other stuff. No new armor items. Uh, this person likes purple berry items, it would seem. Oh man, mag picks. I want these. You guys, you guys stand there and make sure nobody sees me do this. Make sure there's nobody else in here either. I want those mag picks. Those are useful. Ah, here's something to examine. Re recipe list. A handwritten list of recipes. One stands out from the rest. Wrapped it on brains. Clean and boil brains. Let dry, preferably under a spore tree. Season with sugar. AC nutmeg, oh, Auntie Cleo's nutmeg, and paprika. Boil and filter a ladle of taro blood. Soak brains overnight. Cook 10 to 15 minutes on a low fire. Delicious. Can't wait to try out that new recipe. Can't wait. It's going to be a big hit. I just know it. Yeah. Nobody sees me? Nothing happened. Right, Iconoclast Rioter? Right. Let's go upstairs. I haven't been up here yet. Let's see what's up here. Oh, there's another bar up here. Like a little kitchen area. <laughs> He's using one of those little... Uh, portable thingies. So does he have eyes on the back of his head? Does he have eyes on the side of his head? That's no, all good. Uh, here is... Hmm, here's a room, and um, we can use Bronson's key to get into it. Bronson was the guy who gave out uh, work orders, I think. If I try to hack in here, is this guy going to even notice? I don't know. Do I have Bronson's key? Apparently I don't. He has no idea what happened. Okay, well, he's got Deadeye Assault Rifle. That's pretty cool. Take his ammo. Ooh, a Sublight ID cartridge. This is one of those things that I use with the shroud, right? To make me look like Sublight, is that right? Sublight ID cartridge and ID cartridge belonging to a sublight employee. Yes. So this is for the shroud. Okay, well that's cool. I don't think I had one of those already, so now I can pass for sublight. So that made it worth breaking in here. That's that's why you that's why you go into these places and you steal things because you find important stuff like that. That's why. That's why you do it. So, it's a long way down, but here is that arcing thing. Ouch, that kind of hurt. Ouch. <laughs> you doofuses. <laughs> okay, I don't see any um, option to uh, work on this thing. Oh, maybe I do. Ellie, Ellie died. <laughs> <laughs> I rerouted the electrical wiring the old-fashioned way. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so the other thing that we could do is uh, restore the guardhouse communications, but uh, we're not going to do that just yet. We need to go in here and talk to Tucker. <laughs> you comfortable, dude? He is one with that chair. Okay, so let's um, turn this quest back on. Not that it matters, but it's just how I like to do things sometimes. Hello, Tucker. My, are my, your mother sent me. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? That's not important. Stranger suits me just fine. Oh, come on. 
We like to be friendly around here. At the least, let me call you captain. Okay. Whether or not you command a ship, I do. if you've found your way here, you must be a leader type. Yeah, I kind of am. So then, Captain, welcome to Amber Heights. Oh, and uh, call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Well, free from what? You're a new face too, huh? Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Sutter Bay. Free from what, dude? Well, from the yoke of corporate tyranny. It's what all us Iconoclasts strive for, with Graham at the helm. We want unfettered freedom, not the lies that MSI tries to sell in Stellar Bay. True escape from all rules and constraints. You want to know more? Listen to Graham's broadcasts. He's been talking up a storm, working to elevate the minds of all the corporate drones in this colony, getting them to rise up. Okay. No rules or limits? Sounds like a utopia, or you're describing pure anarchy. Rules are needed for people to coexist. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with this one. See, that's what the corpse want you to think. If you think rules are needed, they can force any and all they want down your throat, and you'll just swallow it. You need to talk to Graham. He'll help you find the truth amongst the lies that are living in your brain. All right, I don't think it's that extreme, dude. Uh... But anyway, you're a new face too, huh? Yeah, to Amber Heights, anyway. Only got here a few weeks ago. Was living in Stellar Bay before then. But I can't tell you how great it is to finally be free of them walls. Hmm. Aren't the walls up to keep everyone safe? Screw safe. <laughs> I've had enough of playing it safe to last me a dozen lifetimes. A body's not meant to live such a guarded life. Everybody needs a little danger and excitement. Something to live for. That's what you get outside the walls. And if you're lucky, you find a cause worth bleeding for. And that's what I got right here. The Iconoclasts welcomed me into the fold. They're teaching me how to survive and truly be free. That's worth more to me than safe ever could be. Yeah. That is a pretty strong reaction to the topic of safety there, dude. Sorry about that. It stems from some uh, family trauma. I don't want to talk about that, though. Well, you're going to. So. That's interesting that this is still here. Why is that still there? Anyway. Uh, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. <laughs> Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Uh, she made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you, or she's offer a reward to anyone who brings you back to Stellar Bay. Well, she did make it seem like you were in danger, dude. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. <laughs> I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Okay, okay, calm down. We could try to persuade him and tell him that running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. Or you need. we could try to intimidate him. I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. Oh my god. Uh, we could say, so what do you want to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. Or you're going back to Stellar Bay one way or the other. Oh, I'm not going to send him back. Um, well, let's ask him what he wants to do about it. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. That can be arranged. <laughs> you know, that might just work. Aww. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. Dude, that seems awfully mean. I won't do that to Agnes. Uh, but we could say you want to fake your own death to avoid talking to your mother? Or, you're okay with her thinking you've died? Don't you think that'll hurt her? 
Or if we do this, I need some proof that it was your body I found. Dude, don't you think that would hurt her? I mean, I know you're angry with her, but come on. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? No. Nope, I won't do that. Sorry. I'm plain out of ideas then, Captain. I won't go back, and I can't think of a better way to get my mama to stop searching for me. Well, you need to just face her, dude. That's what you need to do. Show up with a bottle of vodka and some real good cusses. That'll show her how much you've grown. Then she'll think they've brainwashed me into some kind of hooligan. As far as she's concerned, if I make any decision that's not aligned with hers, someone else convinced me. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You've survived outside of Stellar Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. Or teach her the iconoclast philosophies, convert her so she might join you in freedom. Well, if he tries to do this, then she's just going to say that they've, you know, polluted his mind. So yeah, go back and show her the skills you've learned, dude. You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Well, that was kind of interesting. Well, we convinced him to return back and talk to her anyway, and there he goes. But we need to return to Agnes and Stellar Bay to let her know that we spoke with Tucker. He's gonna mosey on back. He's gonna take his time, too. He's not in any hurry. Even I don't blame him. He's got some thinking to do. What's he gonna say to her? How's he gonna convince her? I wish I could follow them outside of the place, but once he goes through those doors, he'll disappear and we won't be able to see him. It's too bad. So, uh, that quest is probably updated now. Um... Now that you've found Tucker Needham in Amber Heights, convince him to return home to his mother in Stellar Bay. You convinced Tucker Needham to return home to Stellar Bay. Agnes promised a reward for bringing her son back. You persuaded Tucker to return to Stellar Bay and confront his mother. He decided that he would stand up for himself as a grown man. Well, good for him. Let's look at our quests. We've got this main one, Radio Free Monarch here, which takes us back to Stellar Bay. We've got passion pills. We're supposed to um, get something at a dispensary, which is also in Stellar Bay. Weapons from the Void. This is something in a different place. Little memento. Um, Ash has pointed us towards one of his unit's old outposts way out here. We're here right now. Family Matter. That's returning to Agnes. The Secret People. Um... Braxton's apartment, that's in Stellar Bay. Herrick's handiwork, uh, that's in Stellar Bay. The Grim Tomorrow, Stellar Bay. Solution Vital on Scylla. Then we've got a faction quest. We're supposed to meet somebody in Fallbrook. Fallbrook being here. We're not far from Fallbrook, really, it looks like. The Commuter. This is a printing press. Here at Bayside Terrace, where we were before. Hmm. And then this, Sanjar wants us to do some stuff. Abandoned, abandoned building right near Cellar Bay here. Uh, this is where we're supposed to get some stuff in Cascadia, which is over here. And supposedly it's very dangerous to walk to Cascadia, but it sounds like fun. And then, of course, there's something else in Cellar Bay for, to get for uh, Parvati as well. And then this uh, is also Fallbrook, which is right here. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, we're pretty close to um, this uh, Bayside Terrace. So let's head back to Bayside Terrace. Let's do that. And... Um, We will um, see if we can do something about this printing press. I wonder if she has anything new to say. Ah, crazy town. Never change. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Okay. 
good luck in all that you do. Oh, thanks, Rose. Same to you. May the eternal truth guide you. Thanks. May the eternal truth guide you. Yeah. Let's go back out into the wilderness. Now, I could fast travel back over there. I could, but what fun is that? If this is a place that I'd been to a lot of times, I could see that. But uh, this is still new, you know. This is still a new place. Still fun to run around and explore. And also, I'm kind of curious to see if in the time that we were in Amber Heights, if uh, enemies have repopulated. I'm going to say no. They haven't. Uh, I'm basing that on nothing. Um, I'm just thinking that something, nothing uh, major story, nothing uh, majorly story related has happened. So I don't think that the game world is going to be repopulated with enemies. Uh, try not to fall in that water. It sounded like my peeps might have walked in the water a little bit. <laughs> Sealed. What is that on the ground right there? Oh, that's just the, one of the markings on the road. So, this weapon has nine bullets, I don't know, in it now. Since we put the magnum on it. That's pretty cool. So, last time we were here, we couldn't get in anywhere, but let's see what happens this time. Oh, hey. Niles. So this quest here, the iconoclasts are due to receive a shipment of vital supplies from Carlotta. Is this, is this the one that I thought I was doing? Um, well, I guess so. Anyway, the iconoclasts are due to receive a shipment of vital supplies from Carlotta a sympathizer that resides in Stellar Bay. The meeting is set to occur at the Bayside Terrace Warehouse, which is where we are now. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. We're supposed to get these printing press rollers from Carlotta. Travel to the warehouse at Bayside Terrace and find Graham's contact, Carlotta. She should have a shipment for him. Retrieve it. Optionally, we could get high-capacity cartridges or extra supplies from Carlotta. Graham wants to tack on some high-capacity cartridges to his order, but Zora would prefer if they could get extra food and medical supplies. But who's this Niles person? What's up, Niles? Oh, and then there. Ooh, a sublight thug. Okay, and Carlotta's way over there. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Really? Who the hell are you? Attack! Nobody tells me to saw it off. I need to get inside her. Uh, what's going on here? I, I need to get inside, dude. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Well, uh, I could lie to him and say I'm here to investigate reports of a mantis swarm infection, or we could try to persuade him. You're here for Carlotta, I get it. I'll off her, you get paid, we all go home with a win? What? We're supposed to huh? Uh... I'm not going to kill her. I don't know. Let's see if we could lie to him. Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a <laughs> couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. Oh, nice. See you later, Niles. We're going, we're going. I just wanted to talk to you again. We're going, you were such we're a going. great conversationalist. Okay, and then that's it. The thubs, the th thubs, thugs are leaving. Hey, what's up, sublight thug? What's going on? Uh, why are you talking to yourself? Ain't in the mood to chat. That's so funny. They're all leaving. God, there were a lot of them here. Ain't in the mood to chat. Keep walking, buddy. What are you looking at? Ain't in the mood to chat. What are you looking at? <laughs> it's a friendly group. <laughs> okay, well, we got rid of those losers, so that was pretty easy, actually. So, Carlotta is their contact, a sympathizer. So, she resides in Stellar Bay. She buys things from MSI for the Iconoclasts. The Iconoclasts know it, but they sell her stuff anyway, just at a higher price. Now, 
Why there were th sublight thugs here, I don't know. Hmm. Relax. The sublight squad is gone. Uh, do you have a moment to talk about our salvation through the order of scientific inquiry? Or Carlotta, is that you? Is that you, Carlotta? Yeah, and for the hundredth time, I'm not opening this door. A hundred times, huh? Who are you, anyway? Well, um, I'm Mental Fox. Graham sent me to collect supplies, or just your friendly neighborhood iconoclast, or it doesn't matter who I am, I'm here to pick up Graham's supplies. Well, in keeping with telling no one my name, we're going to go with this one. Okay, okay. Jeez. Fine, 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 fine. I was like, where's my peeps? Why were they hanging out over there? <laughs> you guys shy or something? What's up? So this quest has been updated here. Um, speak to Carlotta. There you go. That's it. That's how, that's what was updated. Hey, Carlotta, you could put the weapon down. Put, put the weapon down. Let's be friends here, Carlotta. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. You're welcome. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You got, you got a little something on your, in your face there. You got, listen, 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 just right, right here on your face, just a little something. Uh, let's see here. Uh, why did Sanjar ban you from working with the Iconoclasts? It's kind of a silly question, maybe. Why have you been helping Graham? Uh, where will they get their supplies now? Or attack, I'm just going to take everything you have. Uh, where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Well, this is when we have to make the decision. Zora wanted food and medicine, but Graham wanted some high-capacity data cartridges. I'm going to go with the high-capacity data cartridges because I like the thought of him broadcasting and maybe causing more chaos here on Monarch. I just kind of like that idea. So, high-capacity data charges, cartridges, please. Yeah, I've got a few. I'll send them along. Okay, cool. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Oh man, I don't get to talk to her anymore? Go on. I need to get moving. Carlotta. Ooh, wait, wait, are you going through this door? I want to go with you. Carlotta. Oh, Carlotta. She's gone. Oh crap, I didn't get to talk to her. That's okay. I'm just going to take this stuff. Do, 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 do. Taking stuff laying here on these containers. It's mine now, my stuff now. Here's a vending machine. A Monarch Stellar vending machine. Uh, they don't sell any weapons. They sell some armor. I'm not about to buy armor. I could find it on the ground. Health items. Muds. General crap. And no quest items. Uh, we could go ahead and sell this. I've picked up another one of these. Still yet, are all of these Deadeye Assault Rifles level 11? Every single one of them? So far. So far they are. We just recently picked this up. Inspiration plus three. Do I have an inspiration plus three? Inspiration plus anything? I don't think we do. Okay, well, now I have something to boost my inspiration. Ooh, 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 I want that. Huh. Interesting. That's kind of neat. There's like a window there so we could see in, but we can't go in. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff. I love it. Um, Let's get into this thing, man. We don't even need to use any mag picks. Okay, well... Oh, man, more stuff over here. Look at all this stuff, man. Yeah, all right, picking up stuff. It's my favorite. Vendor, sell junk. 
Man, I, I must not have much in the way of junk. Sell weapons that I just picked up. I wonder how I sell these things to a vending machine. Is there like a big slot where I dump this stuff in? Don't, don't, don't look at me like that, Phoenix. Phoenix. I'm gonna call him Phoenix. <laughs> From now on, you're Phoenix. <laughs> okay, so we spoke with uh, Carlotta and we picked up the crap. Uh, bring, let's see, we, you got extra cartridges for Graham. Bring the needed parts back to Graham at Amber Heights. Let's do that. Uh, I do wonder about this place in here, though. When we were here last time, there's this terminal, and... Oh, okay. Huh. Open gas vents. Hack 55, root the gas outside. Huh. Um... I'm not really sure why I'd want to do that. Except maybe if those uh, sublight thugs were still here, maybe that would have been one way to get rid of them if I could have snuck into this building. Maybe, maybe that's what that's for. I'm gonna guess that's what, that's what that would have been for. <sighs> maybe. But uh, I don't have that high of hack skill, although I've been told that Max, good old Vicar Max, if I was traveling with him, well, he would up my hack score quite a bit. But he's not with me, so. Probably already looked in that, yeah. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, run on back to Amber Heights. So we're not that far away from it. And um, we will deliver the cartridges to Graham and piss off Zora in the process, no doubt. I love that I can run indefinitely. My dude never gets tired. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a hard time running when he breaks an ankle, though. So yes, I could have fast traveled here, but... It's more fun to run. Okay. In we go. Hi, Rose, I'm back. Remember me? Good luck in all that you do. Oh, thanks. So, you're, uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. <laughs> Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. Ah, uh, she got you there, Phoenix. All right, back to our good buddies, Graham and Zora. Although I don't know where Zora went. She went walking off last time we were up here, but looks like she's back. You guys talking again? No, you're not. Hi. Nice day, huh? The monarch, anyway. Yes, not bad, I guess. I don't know. What? Sorry. Long day. Yeah, watch your temper. Jeez. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. Yeah, you do that. Hey, Graham, I got something for you, buddy. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. What's with the Van Noys, man? Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Mm. Welcome back, Captain. What's with the Van Noys, man? Who are the Van Noys? I, I want you to tell me right now. You needn't concern yourself with trifling logistics. But I want my nose at everything. Trifling logistics? They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. I don't like the way he talks to her. Now I feel bad that I got your rollers and your extra cartridges. But here they are. Damn it. I was hoping you'd have more sense than our venerable leader here. I get the message is important. But so's eating. I got food. I can give Carlotta some food. usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Whoa. Uh, she isn't. Sanjar has declared a stop sale on goods to the iconoclasts. Or I've got bad news. Sanjar has made it illegal to sell to you guys. Or I don't know what you did to piss him off, but Sanjar isn't selling to you anymore. Uh, well, I mean, this is what's happened here. Oh, we got an iconoclast apostle helmet, too. Okay, thanks. And our reputation has increased with these people. It's funny, it was like, it looked like she looked at this thing when it popped up. Anyway. That is 
Most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Hmm, okay. Uh, let me ask you something about spreading the truth, or time to fix up the printing press then, or what's next? Let's ask him something. Yes? Well, um, even if we clean up the press, how will you get the magazines to Terra 2? Or what exactly are you going to put in these magazines? Or why go through all this trouble? What are you trying to accomplish? Let's ask him that. The corporations have been shackling workers' souls for centuries. Workers are glorified slaves to their companies, to their society, to their own minds. Free will has all but vanished. I believe that by freeing oneself from the corporate structure, indeed from the very rules of man, one can find their own truth. And through that, the cosmic truth that binds us all, the eternal truth. Uh-huh, yeah. And what are you going to put in these magazines? A subtle lesson here, a word about the eternal there. In small ways, I hope to bend the public's mind towards seeing the truth. Hmm. Well, even if we clean up the press, how will you get the magazines to tear it too? Our very resourceful sublight friends have already agreed to help. For their standard fee, of course. They'll replace periodicals around the colony with our subtly edited versions. The board's workers will learn of our truth without even realizing it. Hmm. Okay. Back to the mission. Certainly. Uh, I guess it's time to fix up that printing press then, huh? The print... Oh no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Van Noyce. them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noyce there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. You're lucky they don't have airlocks on Monarch, or someone would have helped you into one by now. <laughs> I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Hmm. Do you two ever stop bickering, or... You could have sent them after backing Zora up, right? Or spreading the word has to be priority number one, otherwise how can this movement grow? Yeah. Exactly. I'm glad you see the truth of the matter, Captain. I'm sure the dead understand, right? Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Okay, I will. Um, I'll do everything I can. Okay. Well, there you go. Hey. What? Sorry. Long day. So, now this quest says, um, pay for the printer. I guess we've completed this one back here, right? This one that was called, um, oh boy, these are in no order, are they? Um, well, I don't remember what it was called. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, this one is called Pay for the Printer Before Graham Can Spend His Message to the Rest of the Colony. He needs control of an old printing press in the ruins of Stellar Bay. Travel there with the replacement parts you recently obtained and get it back in working order. Repair the printing press. Enter Terra 1 Publications and repair the printing press there. Optional. Retrieve Zora's team. If we look on the map, we will see that uh, it's over here. So I guess these are the ruins of Stellar Bay over here. Okay, cool, cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, nice. So um, let's see. We have, we are here, and I think that there's a quest here in Fallbrook, and there's a building over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and leave Amber Heights. We'll walk over here and see what this is, if I haven't already. And then we'll start going to the, one of these two roads over to Fallbrook. Um, what the hell did I just do? That was weird. I clicked on journal. For some reason, fast travel showed up here. 
huh? I guess because it's off the screen, but we could still pick it. Interesting. Anyway, um, Fallbrook, which is the one for Fallbrook? Well, here's a here's a Fallbrook one. Okay, and Fallbrook is indeed out here. Okay, let's exit Amber Heights. Getting a mite humid here. I may have to meditate without the outfit. Okay, I did. I did. I didn't need to know that. All right, let's hit the road. Oh, that's not the way out. This is the way out. Zora, I'll do everything I can to bring the van noise back. I promise. I promise. We gotta get the message out. The message is first. Oh, this thing's neat. Gotta get that message out, man. You need to recruit more people to your cause. It's important. Hey, Ellie, you wanna know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only, we'd have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? <laughs> hey, why do you always do that thing with your eyes whenever I talk to you? You on the alert, maybe? Looking out for hidden enemies? Let's just say you remind me of someone. I bet they were real pretty. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Bronson. What are you buying? Um, buying? Oh, this is a store? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and whatever else we need. Okay. Handyman, huh? You fix things around here. Oh, sure. Sulfur ain't so good on metals, and replacing parts is expensive. So we fix things till we can't. Okay. Why do you need a quartermaster? We gotta eat. Eating means hunting. Hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. So Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. All right. And he sells stuff like so many other people do. All right, see you later, bye. Let's go outside. Mention to get out of this place, man. We need to get back into the wilderness of Monarch. Where the action is. Okay, so... In this direction, there's a little building over here, but it's looking like it's going to be on the other side of these uh, rocks. But I think we can get around them. Uh, there's a possibility that there are some um, marauders around here like there were at the other entrance to the place so let's keep an eye out for them so there's that building that I saw let's go see what this is I'm curious could be enemies over here as well so let's get the let's get into crouch position look at that big giant tree that's really neat Oh, yep, sure enough, there's an enemy up ahead. I could see it on my compass. I don't see it with my eyeballs yet, though. Oh, oh, he kind of saw me. Marauder ringleader. Oh, jeez, there's a bunch of them over there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Where is this guy? He's right there. I didn't quite kill him, unfortunately. Got him. Did I kill him? Okay. I think I just took out three of them. Not too shabby, if I may say so myself. Oh, here comes another one. Another two. Why aren't you guys crouched? What the hell, man? He's moving quick. Where'd the other one go? Look at these two doofuses just standing there. What are you doing? Well, you didn't tell me to attack anyone, so I'm just going to stand here. Okay, fine. Attack!
Not too shabby. Good job, team. Good job. And we leveled up. But first... But first we loot the bodies. Another vermin pistol there. Stupid marauders. <laughs> they can even handle a guy behind a rock. Okay, marauders taken care of. Don't need to worry about them anymore. Do they leave any uh, canisters sitting about that I could, uh, you know, help myself to? I don't see any. There's a little doorway here. Look at all this stuff they just left in here. What the hell, guys? Let's get into this. Tossball jerseys. Tossball jerseys? A package of mint condition tossball jerseys now with authentic game time aroma. <laughs> you can even smell it through the packaging. <laughs> Funny stuff. Get to some bypass shunts. Hooey! Do you see all that good stuff? Look how they're standing. That's hilarious. I love it. Get out of my way, Phoenix. Okay, well, I don't know what this is, but it doesn't look like we can get into it. But. Still pretty cool. Oh, man. A residence. With another Deadeye assault rifle. Uh, I'm amassing quite a collection of Deadeye assault rifles. The one we just picked up was uh, yet another level 11. Huh. This one has a special ability. Do they all have the special ability of execute? I guess I didn't notice that before. Yeah, they've all got this exacto sight on them. These are all exactly the same weapons. There is no difference between them. That's fine. Well, I'm going to hang out with my uh, new friend here, Mr. Resident. Hang out at this location and this episode when we come back next time. Uh, we will continue in that direction towards... Um, Fallbrook, I was going to say that, but I think that uh, Vicar Max would like to be with us for this one because it's his quest. So um, we may travel back to the Unreliable first, do some uh, fast traveling back to the Unreliable, then fast travel back here with uh, the good old Vicar. We might do that. I don't know. Only one way to find out. That's to come back next time. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.